my homeboy came up, just said, man, let's go down to the multiplex, man. You know, Jordan be down there playing. This the year Mike didn't play. So I was like, man, I don't want to play no fucking ball, man. Fuck the plex, man. I ain't even going to let us in there, motherfucker. No, no, no. I gotta, yeah, you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. So we go down there, and uh, MJ in that motherfucker. And there's about 200 people on the glass just sitting there watching. Right. And Mike in there. And I see some, I see some hood niggas in there with him. I see Carl Harris in there. Per as usual. I see, I see, I see a couple other, you know, hood niggas I know in there. And then I'm, I'm with, you know, I'm with three motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm with, I'm with, I'm with the guys. So you know, we show up in here, we all in here watching. And um, when I came in there, <clears throat> you know, my guys say what up to Carl Harris. He, he know us West Side, all right? So we go in here, whatever. So as soon as we get in there, Mike like. Hit the glass, like let the big fella in. So I'm like, oh shit, throw my shoes, man. Got my shoes. Like, going here, right. suit up. As soon as I get in here, I'm a big man. You know, D, when you're in high school, you play big man. You don't, you ain't chasing no guards. I might play a 21 or 32 somebody here, a guard or something, right. but I ain't in organizing here. You know, I'm in here posting up, got post mm-hmm. moves, all this shit, man. He put me right on Scotty. And Scotty was like, man, well, y'all put this young puppy ass nigga on him. Man, let me get it. And, he, and when he clapped, the <laughs> echo in the room. <laughs> You know, this is my first time in front, in front of these niggas. And then I'm looking at, damn, I'm in here with Scotty, man. Yeah. And then his face was like, oh, this little man. He shot this big, long ass three, D. Like, so much that I looked at that motherfucker and then bam, he hit that motherfucker. Like, damn, I looked. Like, man, almost like the face of like some easy work, man. When I saw his face, I was like, <laughs> and, and just my natural reaction, I called for it. MJ threw that motherfucker and I took two dribbles, kid that gave him a little move, and I let my shit go. Man, my shit hit, dog. I thought I had won the championship. Y'all look, <laughs> look, I was so gassed. I jumped, so I don't know what you think this is, nigga. He's like, what, nigga, what? <laughs> and he shot me the ball. I shot him back. Nigga, we pushed up. So, nigga, I had these niggas kill you in here. Man, them niggas jumped up. Carl Harris like, no, young fella. You can't do that in here. No, young fella. No. Hey, no. Carl mm-hmm. Harris got it under control. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about them niggas off? Game over. <laughs> Joe was like, young fella, I love you. Young fella, yeah, yeah. But he got the fuck out of there. I looked up and I had fucked the whole run up. I fucked the whole run up. <laughs> Niggas, get ready. Up, you know what I'm talking about? Like we in here just wilding, right? And I and I felt like this. I was like, damn, see, man, that's why I didn't want to come down here. I was already in the shit mood. Like I'm all in my head with it. But what I did know, in the corner over there, I saw a purple ass jacket and some feet. It was Z. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that was Scotty Pippen, boy. Boy, you crazy mother, boy. Man, Joe. Boy, I just saw you play against Scotty Pippen. Well, you can go to the league. When he said that, boy, everything stopped, y'all. I looked at that man, I said, what you just say? It's Isaiah. Zeke was like, yeah, come here. <laughs> Lord, we sat there for two, two hours. And I can actually repeat what he said verbatim. <laughs> when he told me that shit. Had you playing McDonald's or anything? No, yet? I ain't got I ain't went to McDonald's yet. Mm. I leave there, I go home. As soon as I get home on the on the front of my little uh, door, because at this time I not got myself an apartment and all this shit. I got like this little pink thing. You feel me? And I'm like, what? I look, I see what the shit say. I rip it off, come in the joint, like, oh, fuck. Now my head's spinning. And Wolf didn't go down here with me. When Zeke gave me the conversation, I come back home, I see the shit on my door. I rip the shit off my door. I slammed the door at the time, uh, just me and my young sister. She's like, what's wrong? Say like nothing. Went up, cause Wolf lived downstairs. I went, went downstairs, knocked on his door. He was like, what's up, man? I said, man, yeah, man, let me holler at you for a second. He said, what's up? I said, man, look, write this down. Tomorrow I need you to call David Falk, this nigga, and then and I named like three agents that, you know, he gave me. I said, I want, I want, I want, I want you to uh, call these guys and let them know that, um, yeah, I'm gonna forego my uh, college uh, eligibility and I'm going to the league. Hmm. And Wolf was like, Man, get your fucking ass out of here, boy. You tripping, boy. Right. <laughs> you, you, want some, you want something to eat over? You want? And when he saw I wasn't laughing and I was dead ass, nah, nigga, write this down. Write this down. And I had never took a tone like that with him. And I was looking at him dead ass. And he's like, you hear what you're saying, man? I said, I hear what I'm saying. I need you to write this down. And he saw my face and then I took him through the conversation. This, and this is what we're going to do. Next day at school, he did the same thing. One of the motherfuckers out of the four people called me back. And then he took me through the process. We started the process. You're gonna go right here, you gotta take a couple workouts. You probably gotta leave school a little early, come over here. And we had to do it around school, cause it's the school year. And niggas not even taking me serious until I get into the first workout. And the first workout, 
was uh, basically I couldn't travel and go everywhere, so I had people had to come here. Mm-hmm. But we had um, the physical, so a lot of teams was coming into Chicago anyway, so that helped me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Moody niggas, Bible. they have to travel, Moody. right? So yeah. they would go up to Moody Bible, they skip the Moody Bible, come down, see my little workout. So I got like the first, uh, the first day I got um, picks 11 through uh, 22. I didn't even get the whole day. I just got those teams, and they came through, and they sat. And I remember Pat Riley being one of the people in there. And, uh, you know, I ain't never worked out. I didn't know nothing like this. You know, mm-hmm. we'll take us through workouts. Never I ain't never, not like this, life. right? I right. <laughs> 90 minutes. Didn't know it was going to be 90 minutes. I showed up. I didn't really, I didn't really get to stretch and I just came in. I was in awe of just, you know, How they the people that I'm seeing. I'm like, damn, that's Pat Riley. That's Pat. I know all that. Dale Harris. So I'm in here just noticing it. But all the gyms and shit. Danny Ainge, Kevin Kevin. So I'm here like, oh shit. So I'm like, damn. So it didn't hit me like, damn, nigga, you're here. Right. Kiwan Garris. Shout town. Shout out to Kiwan, yo. West side. Shout out to Kiwan, man. Kiwan. You uh, guys finest. Straight up, I, I called him. I said, uh, hey man, come, can you come, can you come pass the ball to me? You know what I'm saying? Cause I just need a guard to go up and do some of the stuff because I was by myself. And then I had an instructor who was just walking me through the shit. So he was like, okay. All right, look, I'm just gonna do this real cool. Just, you know, you know, worked out a hundred times, just listen to what I'm saying. So I was like, all right. So I heard Pat Riley, okay, God damn, what the fuck are we doing here? God damn, we're here in Washington, the fucking high school guy. What the fuck is this? So I heard, <laughs> so all the little minions laugh. <laughs> and the guy was still talking to me, and they was kind of in the background. So I saw the nigga mouth moving, but I just heard him. Right. I, I took everything personal, man. You know what I'm saying? I took everything personal. So I was like, oh, word, okay. Nigga came to the workout. I knew he was going to see a high school kid, but he don't know why he's here. So I played I, I played with that. Like, <sighs> that was just steaming. Mm-hmm. So the first shit, you know, dribble up and down. It was just some basic shit. So all the shit he was telling me was basic. Two dribble pull up for the jump at the free throw line. Mm-hmm. Wasn't no hard shit, D. Mm-hmm. Shit, that shit I did. But man, I looked up and it was 90 minutes. They wanted me to see how long I could go, see how, you know my range and all that shit from 15 to 17. I was smacking it, and then I wanted to see the jumping, all that shit. So I was dunking this motherfucker, trying to doom, doom. Didn't even have to dunk it this many times, but I was dunking this motherfucker. He don't know why he in here, huh? Doom, he don't know why he in. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, that's enough. Doom. And I was dunking, the boom. And I dunked that motherfucker. And I was <laughs> Oh, fuck you mean? Why I'm in here? You don't know why you in here, motherfucker? And I look behind him, my nigga's like, you go, Lloyd, go, Lloyd, go, Lloyd. <laughs> just gas. Okay. Good work right, out, y'all, right, fellas. Right, right, right. And that's when I knew I had some. Kevin McHale walked all the way down there. He was in this big ass, like, high rise. Like, the niggas didn't want to, on some subliminal shit. Right. You feel what I'm saying to you? He walked all the way down. Then he just started chopping. Hey, what's up, Kevin McHale? Hey, hey I love your footwork, big fella. Hey, hey, you, you come here, you get your shoulders, you want to, you know. And he went right into teaching. I was like, oh shit, this nigga gave me the, and it was just coming so fast, y'all, that I couldn't catch it all. And I was like, oh, wait, what, what'd you say? Cause I, Cause I knew I had another workout. So the only thing I did catch it, he was like, when you come around, you want to square your shoulders with the rim. Cause sometimes you coming in and you shooting across your body. And I was like, oh wow, okay. And then the next day I applied that shit. But after the first workout, I knew I had something. After the second workout, I knew I was getting picked.